hello everyone so welcome back now we will be discussing about our next philosopher and in a true sense he is the philosopher thinker am i audible visible in a true sense he is the philosopher and thinker so who is he i hope you know about him he was colleague of gandhi ji nehru tagore he was former ambassador of soviet union later became vice president then became president greatest living thinker of the east and he was a true representative of philosophical traditions of east and he was also a thinker who is known for synchronization or reconciliation of eastern and western philosophical traditions spiritual values so yes we are talking about dr sarvapalli radhakrishnan born in 1888 in tamil nadu he did his early education from tamil nadu christian college christian missionary schools okay and he wrote tagore's philosophy his note on western philosophy is very popular and his note on western philosophy made him popular in the uh, among western philosophers as well okay and his book on indian history is indian philosophy is very popular 1952 he was elected as a vice president and then later in 1962 he was the philosopher king and there is a say why i am using again and again philosopher plato when we will read plato has mentioned that philosopher king should be there or even cotillia we have discussed cotillia also told the concept of raj rishi means rishi is sage like king learned knowledgeable so in true sense this philosopher was a king became the second president of indian democracy indian republic okay so we are going to discuss about sarvapalli radhakrishnan today in this video so there is a thought to ponder before we proceed the thought to ponder is whenever you think about teacher an ideal teacher what all attributes come to your mind so take your time two minutes you take your time and write and share it with me in the telegram channel telegram group okay what attribute do you look for in an ideal teacher so come on please write i am waiting come on come on think and write
then to stop writing. So now you must have thought about the, those attributes of a teacher which you would have missed since childhood. You must have thought about those teachers who have shaped, influenced your personality, your life, who have given values to you since the school days, college, whom you admire. You must have thought about me, just praising myself. So the attributes, we know how a teacher should be. So by the end of this video, you will get to know about the attributes of teacher. Because we celebrate Teacher's Day on the birth day of the philosopher whom, about whom we are discussing, that is Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan. So by the end of this lecture, you will get to know about the attributes of ideal teacher, what he believes. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, what he believes about teacher, what a teacher should be, look, uh, uh, should be like, what attributes they should have. So let's start with his different philosophies. First, we will discuss about his philosophy towards life. So his life philosophy is that we all should live a life of idealism. Life has the purpose. We all should find the meaning of our life. And he says that ideal and values are the dynamic forces that give direction to life. So ideals and values, they are dynamic forces because they keep changing. They are shaped by different forces. They are not... Yeah, same for everyone. So ideals and values, they are the forces, dynamic forces, they give direction to our life. Now is it making sense after reading the first unit? Our values, our morals, they will decide in which direction we have to go. They will decide in which direction we have to take the decisions. And that ideals and values, they are according to uh, Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, they shape our life, they are the dynamic forces, they help us to achieve our goal and you can use it as the explanation, value also when you are explaining you can tell that Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan believes that values are the, values along with ideas are the dynamic forces which shape our life, which give direction to our life, so that way also you can link, okay. So when he, he was heading the university commission in 1948-49, uh, the first education commission of India, he was heading, he was president under, her, under his chairmanship. He recommended that teaching in, a, in, a, in the college setup, in the education system, teaching, we should teach students that life is meaningful. And we should empower them to find the meaning of their life so that accordingly they guide, they will be guided and they will take decisions. It they only recommended this university commission, the first commission, education commission under presidentship of uh, chairmanship of Dr. Radha Krishnan, they only suggested the foundation or establishment of UGC also. So he recommended at that point of time that the education system should teach the students about finding meaning of their life. We should empower students to find meaning of their life. So he believed in idealism. And he recommended the educational institutions to the educational institutions that we must provide holistic picture of the universe to the students so that they can have an integrated understanding about everything and thus they will be able to find the meaning of their life. Next, so what he is saying, our education should encourage the development in its member, fearlessness of mind, strength of conscience and integrity of purpose. Fearlessness of mind, courage. Can, are you able to relate with Swami Vivekananda? We have studied something on the similar lines. A strength of conscience and integrity of purpose. Whatever goal, whatever purpose, whatever meaning we have identified in our life, we should fulfill that. Integrity of purpose should be there. So yes, he believes in that. So that is his 
philosophy about life, about idealism, about values, finding a meaning in our life, finding a purpose in life and accordingly working in that direction and onus lies on the education system as well because they will help in uh, finalizing that, this. They will help in refining our ideas or holistic development, integrated way of life, understanding of life in an integrated manner. Then only we will be able to understand ourselves. Next is with respect to science. So he believes, he, he, he is saying something. What is he saying? He is saying, man sometimes become unmindful of their moral implications. Two keywords, moral implication and social consequences. Because of which we end up misusing science and we are caught up in this blind machine of science without humanity. Again a sin according to Gandhiji. So he is saying man sometimes become unmindful of the moral implications of their actions and social consequences. So sometimes we use science. Nu nuclear, Hiroshima, uh, Nagasaki. So misuse of mind. That's why we end up misuse, uh, misusing science, technology. Not for the welfare of humanity, but of our individual pleasure. So we should always be guided by the moral implications and consequences. So you already know science without humanity is a sin. We have already also discussed, those who have attended my essay module, there we have discussed about uh, a topic on technology, technology is a double-edged sword. We have discussed arguments, so there you can use this quote. That according to Dr. Sarupalli Radhakrishnan, we should be mindful of our moral implication and social consequences. This is how you can. And or this can be your thesis statement as well. The idea from this can be used in thesis statement. Okay, so this, this was about science and life we have discussed. And in detail, now we will be discussing a lot about his education philosophy, educational philosophy, because he had discussed a lot of things here. So he is saying that education is the training of intellect, heart and spirit. Intellect, heart and spirit. Why? Because according to him, education if has to be complete, it must be humane. It must be humane. It must not include the training of intellect, but also the refinement of heart has to be happened. Intellectual training can be given, but refinement of heart has to be done. And along with that, discipline of the spirit. Education is the training of intellect, heart and spirit. But training in what sense? Intellectual training. Fine. The refinement of heart and discipline of the spirit should be there. Then only we can find integrity of all things. Then only the integrity will be there. Then only if we have decided any meaning in our life, then only we will be able to fulfill that. Then only ideal and values will act as the dynamic force to guide, give direction to our life. Clear? Next. He is saying that education is the assimilation of ideas and values. We have also seen in the starting what is he saying that how ideals and idealism, how ideals and values they are dynamic force and they give direction to our life meaning. So he is saying that education is assimilation of values and ideas for character building. They help us. This is the assimilation of values and ideas. Education they help us in character building, they help us in finding solution to the challenges we are facing in life, thus they help us in finding meaning of life and they education in that way when it is assimilating values and ideas, it is helping us to uh, giving us tool, it is we are equipped to find solution to those challenges in life which, uh, which are there in our surrounding. So that is how education how education was important for him. Now we know education and its importance for Dr. Uh, sorry, B. R. Ambedkar ji, Baba Sahib. Education for him is different, more of refinement. For there it was more of social empowerment. Next, 
Humanism in education, he always discussed. He told that if we have to solve the problems of the world, humanism in education is important to solve the problems in the world. Be it, you take the example of problems which we are facing, uh, the climate change, social justice, refugee crisis. So if education is there with humanism in that, means with loaded with values, with the wisdom and humanity of hearts and minds of all men, then be it any profession, science, technology, anything, everywhere we will do justice. Everywhere there will be humanism in center. We will think from people's perspective. So that's why he is bringing the component of humanism in education. But nowadays what is happening? Nowadays money, commercialization in education, pro product, commodity in education. So there we are not talking about humanism. Our life is not revolving around other humans. It is revolving around us and for us also the meaning is in luxury, item, commodity. We are not being guided by humanism in education. So he is saying that we should guide our behavior by uh, charity, compassion for all those people who are suffering in life, suffering in our surrounding. We should be guided by the idea of justice, be it climate justice nowadays we are talking, be it social justice we are talking. So if education is not building those values, wisdom and humanity in people, then the essence of education is lost. Okay? Next, are you guys understanding that how he is using education as a tool for refinement of the individual, for the values of love, for the values of peace, solution. He believes that education is enlightenment of the soul. For what? Enlightenment of the soul. For ethical and spiritual, ethical and spiritual vitality, which means if we have education, our soul will be enlightened. The ignorance, the inward emptiness will be gone. It will be refined. It will illuminate the individual from within. Dia. Knowledge ka dia. Dia you know, right? <laughs> dia ye. So that gyan ka dia will lead to lit a light and it will remove the inward emptiness, ignorance and it will illuminate an individual from within. Thus, it will help us in finding a purpose and meaning in life and thus it will contribute towards ethical and spiritual vitality. I know it's very deep but very interesting, isn't it? Now related with your surrounding, how you as an educated individual are, education is helping you in enlightenment of your soul and thus it is helping you in ethical and spiritual vitality. How education is helping a civil servant in enlightenment of the soul and thus working for people and thus commitment towards the ethical vitality or ethical values, ethical and spiritual vitality. Yes, we all know it. But we general things about education in general. Ke mein. Right, something specific and unique. Hmm? Next. Next he is saying that education instills the spirit of inquiry and dedication within us. So, Let's say if, even if we are reading science also. So we are inquiring, okay, if we do this, what will happen? If we do that, then what will happen? So education is instilling this spirit of inquiry and dedication. We are dedication, dedicated to find, find solution, to find answer. People are doing research. People invest their time on research for so many years with an objective to find answer to the problems, answer to their questions, which is guided by a spirit of inquiry. Thus, they are dedicated. 
so it is there because of education education has been still this spirit of inquiry and dedication had it not been that the case then inquire this education nahi hota to always uh, there would have been ignorance only we, we would have been not guided by the idea or the spirit of inquiry we would have accepted the things as they are we will not question others we will not question the authorities we will not question people because we we are ignorant we don't have any knowledge why and who are we to counter because i don't have the knowledge but if you have knowledge if you have education you can counter people you can ask right questions because of spirit of inquiry next next he believes his education philosophy is that if india wants to be free united and democratic then educational institution should retain or should sorry should train people for freedom not obedience you should be free you should focus on freedom not obedience otherwise crony capitalism paid media otherwise vested interest vote bank politics all these things will happen for unity not localism thus guided by vasudev kutumbakam act locally think globally then you will not be self centric is spiritually connected you are thinking that we all are one vasudev kutumbakam not only that this world is a global village but also in a sense that even with animals we all are equal this earth belongs to all bit human animals any species next so educational institution should train people for democracy not dictatorship self explanatory democracy we have discussed in the previous video ambedkar ji is based on the ideas of liberty equality fraternity cooperation justice fairness so our education institution should train us for democracy not for dictatorship my way is the only way my way or highway no right so this is his education philosophy there are other points as well so are you understanding here about how he is using education as a tool for what all purposes and how dr ambedkar ji was using education as a tool for, for a different purpose yes next he believes that education institution should impart moral values of all religion and every stage at every stage moral instruction should be given should be imparted so he is believing in tolerance rather acceptance that educational institution should impart moral values of all the religion take good from everywhere an ekta vaad gandhi ji is quote in education in um, sa we discussed if you have attended the classes an ekta vaad philosophy let the knowledge come from all the direction moral instruction should be there so that's why he is focusing on religion uh, moral values of all the religion this is what educational institution should do but most of the time even the educational institution they focus on only few uh, values of only one or two religion not all so our educational institutions they are themselves not practicing neither they are inculcating the idea of unity and diversity we are not cherishing we are not celebrating diversity at the educational institution festivals fine but day to day and he is also giving telling educational institution this instruction that moral instruction should be given at every stage not only in a school days moral science lectures that's why odisha government has come up with juba sanskar j u b a sanskar classes we have discussed about it juba sanskar classes has been the juba sanskar scheme the target is that 
at the UG and PG level, inculcation of morals will happen. And the UG and PG students will be taught ethics and values so that they can take right decisions for themselves and they can contribute for the betterment of the society. Not that only if you are aware of the current affairs. Very recently there was news that how railway is using or testing people on EQ. EQ to understand whether they are sensitive, whether they are guided by their morals, empathy, compassion towards people. So what are their value system? Yes. Next. Within education system, he is also focusing on qualities of teacher. That's why I gave you that thought to ponder about teacher. So with respect to qualities of teacher, he is saying a teacher must create an environment that nurtures the student with his warm, kind-hearted, accessible, enthusiastic and caring approach. Okay, I know most of the thinking, most of you are thinking about me. That is fine. Because if you are my student, then you know about all these qualities. Okay, jokes apart. This I told only so that you can relate and remember it. That what is the idea of Sarvapalli Radha Krishnan? He is saying that a teacher should be warm, kind hearted, accessible, enthusiastic and caring approach should be there. And not only that, he is also telling teachers should have no fear of learning new teaching strategies. There are few teachers who are still stuck with board system. No, adapt yourself, change yourself. Adopt technology. Certain teachers are there who are stuck with the traditional style of teaching. No. Adopt new things. Learn new things. Update your notes. Relate your notes. Empower your kids with the knowledge of the day which will help them in leading the life in a beautiful manner in the present day according to the present socio-economic political situation. Not as the situations were there at your time. Also, he is telling the teacher should have or should believe in or focus on shared decision making and teamwork and community building. That should be the role of teacher. That is how a teacher should focus upon. A teacher should focus upon community building, teamwork, shared decision making. Can you relate the importance of it? If it is this way how education system is giving the values, then there will be no communal tension. There will be peace. There will be harmony. We will celebrate diversity. We will not only celebrate, we will cherish it as the unity in diversity. We will not fight each other over resources, over religion, over differences. We will accept the differences. Tolerance, nahi. next level will be there. Acceptance will be there. And thus he is saying that teachers should be the best minds of the country, in the country. Best minds of the country should become teachers. And who is teacher? They should be in the country. They should be a best mind. They should have everything with respect to knowledge, empowerment. Are we good? Have you understood what we are talking about? There are few important quotes which are very important, not only for ethics, essay, they are, they are equally important for our life. So, Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan is saying, a life of joy and happiness is possible only on the basis of knowledge and science. Again, can you relate? The education system should lit, dia, should be able to Remove the ignorance, enlightenment of soul. That is possible with the help of knowledge and science. Then only we will be able to find meaning, joy, happiness in our life. Knowledge and science, science, it gives us rationality, objectivity. So you know as a civil servant how they are important. 
Thus, if this is their knowledge in science is there, then it will be able to remove the darkness from our life and thus we will help others to remove that darkness from their life. Next, all our world organizations will prove ineffective if the truth that love is, is stronger than hate does not inspire them. So, if our organizations are not being guided by that, love is more powerful weapon. Love is stronger than hate. It will not, if that is not inspiring them, then definitely all the world organizations will prove ineffective. Making sense? And that is happening. In many cases, it is happening. That's why we are, be it any organization, social organizations, of religion, community, marriage, international relations. If they are not believing in this virtue, this learning, then communal tensions will happen, international frictions will happen, climate refugees will happen. Knowledge gives us power, love gives us fulfillment. As a civil servant also, it is our responsibility that we should not have only knowledge because no, with knowledge we are getting love. With knowledge, sorry, we, with knowledge we are getting power. We will become civil servant, we will become IS officers. But it is the love through which we will reach the idea of fulfillment. That is, if we have love, then only that servitude will be there. Service orientation will be there. If love is there, then only inclusiveness will be there. Otherwise, self-centric approach. If knowledge is there, power is there, we, I know how to use. If love is not there, then all these values will not happen. Servitude, inclusiveness, compassion, welfare, orientation. We will be never be guided by those values. Okay? Making sense? Relate. Relate karna is important. You have to relate it, then only you can learn it. Otherwise, just simply learning that, okay, feel good factor is there, it will not help. Whatever we are learning, you should know how to use it, where to use it in your answers, in your life, especially as a civil servant, because we are talking exam oriented. We are in an exam oriented setup. Next. When we think we know, we cease to learn. From the very first day we are talking out about it. As a teacher, sometimes we think that, okay, I know. You must have come across people who say, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. People talk like this. So when we think, we know, we cease to learn. Lifelong we should learn. And not only that, with, with time, change is happening. Then we should have this adaptability. We have read in Bhagavad Gita, change is the only constant thing. Remember the teachings from Bhagavad Gita? Change is the only constant thing. So change is bound to happen. And if change is happening, then what we have to remember? That we should adapt ourselves. Technology has changed. In future, many such things will change. Our parents are adapting. We, as individuals, we are adapting. At different point, different exposures we are getting. We are adapting. So, adaptability should be there. As a civil servant also, it is very important. Your situation will change. Society will change. Demand, demand will change accordingly. So, we have to adapt ourselves. Making sense? So, this is it with respect to Sarvapalli Radhakrishnanji. We have finished our Indian thinkers and philosophers. So, these are, there are other few people. Piruvallar, Kabir, Mirabai, Baswana, Savitri Bhai Phule, Jawaharlal Nehru, Patelji and Socrates of the East. So, this I am going to provide you in validation material. So, there will be a file below this video you can find a validation material and it will help you. So, go through it. If you face any problem, please let me know. Okay. Take care guys. See you in the Western philosophers and thinkers. So we are done with Indian philosophers and thinkers.
we'll now see interesting elements of Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, very interesting. Okay, take care, bye-bye.